Finishing touches are being put on a new exhibit at the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum called the Farm at the Arb. The Arboretum is a 1,200-acre horticultural garden filled with thousands of plant species. The new 27-acre farm exhibit, opening in September, will incorporate the Arboretum's iconic red barn to help visitors honor the state's farming past while focusing on modern agriculture and the decisions farmers have to make. And so we have a, 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 a real farm here at the Arboretum. We're close to the city where we get lots of people coming out and seeing how crops are grown that really don't have very much knowledge. They all eat and they're all really interested in their food, this food safety and the nutrition, but they don't really know much about how it's grown. The farm at the Arb will feature staple crop plots, including soybeans, corn and wheat, to help visitors understand more about how their food is grown. It will also showcase some of the practices farmers incorporate in their operations to help conserve resources while feeding a growing global population. I I am thrilled to be part of telling the plant to plate story. That's really what the Red Barn and the Bee Center and the crops, all of that comes together um, to tell the journey of what farmers um, have to go through every day to put food on our table. Several agriculture groups, including the Minnesota Corn Growers, are sponsoring the farm exhibit because it offers a chance to reach a largely urban audience unfamiliar with modern farming. Every year that goes by, there's less and less people with a direct tie to agriculture so we're gonna to have to find venues like this to still people pull people back in for you know a couple hours at a time but have them leave with a positive message of what we're doing. It really comes down to connecting people and plants and, and the people are really uh, really looking for that. I mean there's so much research about people getting outdoors and, and uh, in nature but you can experience great things too in agricultural fields and it's uh, to learn about where your food comes from it's uh, we're providing great opportunities that really aren't available anyplace else. This is Lynn Kettleson reporting.